Okay, guys, today we are going to read Grumpasaurus. This is the field guide to the Grumpasaurus. From the notes of Edward Hemingway. Ooh. So this is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. And this is the spine. I noticed that there's a picture of a grumpy looking dinosaur and it's got some lines going to it with something written here. It says, it never smiles. And this one says, folded arms say, keep your distance. And then there's a rain cloud and it says, dark clouds follow it everywhere it goes. And then there's another little pointy thing. It says, it's covered in scales. And then there's another one that says, look at its pointy tail. Now I'm going to open the book. <gasps> yes, I did have it signed by the author. Turning the page. Oh, before we start, guys. Have you ever met a Grumposaurus? I bet you have. There are many, probably even one living in your own home. Want to know what makes it tick? This handy guide will tell you everything you need to know. Above all, the Grumposaurus should be handled with care. If not, watch out. Before you know it, this not so rare creature may, in spite of itself, win your heart. That means you might like it, even though it's a grumpy grumposaurus. I'm turning the page. <gasps> Title page! The observations that follow in this field guide tell you everything you need to know about the formidable bad mutasaurus grumposaurus, more commonly known as the North American grumposaurus. Turning the page. This is a publishing page. And this is a dedication page. It says, special thanks to Ada Charlotte Case and Nick Woods, a.k.a. Uncle Grumpy. Turning the page. Curious about the world's most fearsome creature? It's the Grumposaurus. Now look at how this book is written. It's not written in lines how it normally is. And it kind of looks like a notebook. Uh-oh. Storm's a brewing. I can tell from the clouds. And it's got pointing to note the furrowed brow. See, furrowed brow is when you do this with your eyebrows and they turn upside down and they go at you. It never laughs. Oh. Say, where is its heart? I don't know from that picture. Its angry eyes don't blink. Not sure why but it's got a tail. Let's turn the page. Sometimes called Grumpelstiltskin or the Great Grumpsby, the Grumposaurus can live anywhere and, in, and is most often seen skulking around the room after a great tragedy or mishap, such as a broken toy. Hmm. When the grumpus source gets really upset, I want you to look at the picture and notice the details. 
and think about what it might do when it gets really upset. The lightning will strike, crack, and thunder will roll. His nostrils will flare, and the scales on its back will rise. They sure don't make quality toys like they used to. Kitty cat, approach with caution. What do you think approach with caution means? Approach means to go up to and caution means be careful. So go up to it with carefulness. Okay? Then fear its mighty roar! And head for the hills. Best to be cautious about that grumposaurus from a safe distance. Oh, I'm sorry, I misread. And when I misread, I go back and reread because it ain't a big deal. And then head for the hills. Best to be curious about the grumposaurus from a safe distance. Curious means... I'm interested in it and want to know more. Curious. Turning the page. Whoop. Much better. See where the cat is now? That's way further than our social distance, right? When it's done sulking, the Grumposaurus will always seek out the nearest adult. Demand attention and get ready to speak its mind. You may want to plug your ears. Why do you think we want to plug our ears? Let me reread to figure this out. When it's done sulking, sulking means it sat there and went, oh. Oh, why me? Ah, that's sulking. Okay. The Grumposaurus will always seek out the nearest adult, demand attention, and get ready to speak its mind. Do you think speaking its mind is going to sound very nice? Probably not. It might even be mean and really rude. So I think that's why they said you might want to plug your ears. Grump, grump. Grumposaurus can be very loud. Grump, grump. What exactly is it trying to say? Nobody knows for sure. But everybody can hear it. Grump, grump. Grump. But nobody knows what it's saying. Does anyone have a baby brother or a baby sister that screams or cries sometimes? See, your baby is basically going, grrrr, because it doesn't have words. But it sure is loud. I think the Grumposaurus probably has words. Why do you think the Grumposaurus didn't use its words? Because all I see here that it's saying is Grump, Grump, Grump! I don't see any words other than Grump. And does Grump help anybody? No. Saying Grump, Grump helps nobody. It's going to have to use different words to communicate with us. And we use words to communicate with each other always. Yelling, by the way, doesn't help. It makes it louder, but if you don't use words, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the Grumpus sure, sure can make a lot of noise. Grump! Thump, thump! If the Grumposaurus won't 
settle down, even after an adult asks it to, dramatic measures must be taken. Like, look at what it's doing. Look at what it's doing. And I'm going to read the little things that it's pointing to. See these little things and the little lines? Those are labels. So the artist drew a picture, wrote a line, and then said something right there. It labeled the picture, just like you do in your work. Its tears sound like pouring rain. Boo-hoo! Its scales rattle up a storm. Thump, thump, thump with its stomping little feet. So that's what its tail is for. And stomp, stomp, stomp with the tail. Its very large mouth hollers like there is no tomorrow because it is so, so loud with the grump. And it looks like it didn't brush today. Probably stinks too. So it's loud and stinky. Yuck. So even after an adult tells it to calm down, let's see what happens next. Look at that cat, too. That cat is like, what in the world? Bath time. Crack. Thunder. Warning. The Grumpersaurus is at its most fearsome when being forced to do something it does not want to do. Keep your distance. See how far away the, Grumpus, the cat is from the Grumpersaurus? See how angry he is? Or it will strike. Splash! Kitty Cat didn't even do anything to him. That's so mean. And he's pulling down the shower head. That's bad, Grumpasaurus. Grumpasaurus is not acting right, and he's being mean. You can't say you weren't warned. It's simply never a good idea to approach the Grumpasaurus. Unless. You are bearing gifts, like you fixed his toy. Hmm. Then it will say thank you with a hug. Teddy is all better. Aw, he's being so sweet now. Wait a minute. The most fearsome creature and the whole world gives hugs? It's true. And there's one more very important thing you should know. The moment it smiles, the Grumpasaurus disappears without a trace. And you can approach at will. Happy kitty cat now. Edward Hemingway is the author illustrator of this picture book and The Bad Apple, A Tale of Friendship and Bad Apple's Perfect Day. And he also illustrated books for adults. Originally from Bozeman, Montana, he has been an expert in the field of grumpiness since childhood. He now lives and works in Brooklyn, New York, and you can also find him at edwardhemingway.squarespace.com. The Grumpasaurus. So stop and think about what you learned about the Grumpasaurus. Was the Grumpasaurus actually a dinosaur? He turned into something. What did he turn into? Huh. 
Do you ever get to be like a Grumposaurus? I bet you do. I know I have. Like when I don't get enough sleep or I don't get enough to eat. Ooh, I get hangry when I don't eat. And I get super sleepy and angry if I don't sleep. I do turn into a Grumposaurus. Stop and think about if there is any times if you turn into a Grumposaurus. And then what you can do to fix it. Next time you do turn into a Grumposaurus, try to realize that you just turned into a Grumposaurus. And take a big step back. And if you need help, ask. Because I bet your mommy or your daddy or your grandma or somebody who was in the house with you would love to help you. To make you not be a Grumposaurus anymore. Okay? Now I love you and I had fun reading this book with you. Keep your eyes peeled for Grumposaurus.